Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be building the ultimate shulker box storage system. Now, I know this is going to be a little bit confusing, so I'll explain the features in a little bit. But the way we're going to do this is that we're going to start with a build. I will show you an example of how the entire machine works and explain why it's good. And at the very end of the video, I actually give out dimensions and materials in case you actually do want to build this. So let's get right into it. First, we're going to want to build our actual shulker box unit. So I'm going to grab a bunch of this. There we go. And we'll start her off right here. So you're going to want to place your dropper as such with a comparator running out the back of that. Block there. And a little bit of redstone here. Block there. And repeater, redstone. And right here needs to be a target block. So the redstone runs into here. So this right here is actually your automatic dropper system, which will shoot out the uh, shulker boxes after they're collected. So now that our dropper system is done, it is actually time to uh, build the machine itself, or the uh, tileable interesting part. So you're going to want to go up one more hopper right here and place a block for scaffolding and an actual block with a comparator facing that direction. Then I'd place a glass block like this and a redstone block there. Very important that this is glass. Uh, it's glass because it doesn't connect redstone into the other sticky piston that's going to be right here. Uh, so that's this is what makes it tileable. So very important right there. Then another block up here with a piece of redstone. Ooh, ooh, make sure that's uh, pointing in the like a star or like that. And a sticky piston facing down with an observer facing out. Next, you're going to want to place a block on top of this with your regular piston, no sticky, facing down. And another scaffolding right there. Sticky piston. Redstone block. Scaffolding. Sticky piston. Sticky piston. And observer facing this way, towards that block right there. Go ahead and build this up a little bit. Place a redstone dust still with a star pattern. Block there. A repeater. Taking the, uh, the redstone signal out of that. Going into... No ticks there. Going into one more block with a redstone torch on top, block, redstone dust, block, block, repeater, and another piece of redstone. You're then going to want to go ahead and grab your dispenser, make sure it's facing inwards like this, grab a hopper and put it in like such, and you're going to want to place uh, a few scaffolding blocks, or uh, no, these are permanent blocks, like so, grab your Detector rail, your five powered rails, make sure they're all facing in a straight line, and two redstone blocks like this. These don't do anything except power the rails, so don't worry about them, they're just there to power the rails. And the last but not least, place a scaffolding block right there, hopper going into that, and this uh, unit right here is done. At least my redstone. Still gotta do a few other things, but this, this is the complicated part. So, now that that's all done, let's actually build ourselves the sorting system that's attached to this, as well as the item transportation unit, which just brings it up a little bit. So, I'm going to start by placing a block, uh, just like this, just to start it off, because it's really hard to align sometimes, with a repeater on top of that, block in front of that, and a torch on top of that. Then another block behind, three more blocks, comparator going out, and three more redstone dust. Then build up one, two, three, and four with the hoppers. Make sure this hop make sure this hopper right here is heading out. Very important. Then you're gonna want to place a scaffolding block right there. Three more hoppers. And that is the sorting system. Really old design, but works a charm. So now we're gonna go ahead and build basically just a piping system, which shouldn't be too complicated. So two glass like this, and then you're going to want to start placing some more in this kind of pattern. So two right here, and then right here is where your column actually starts to go up. You're going to want to go up a few blocks, not too many, right here, so we're, we're going to put it right here. So uh, go up three blocks, get a hopper, or three to be exact, and put them running into the blocks like this. Start, or continue to build up your glass, 
And at the very top, you're going to want to go out one here, put it like that, and then put a glass right here. We'll cap this off in a second, but before that, we're going to put our blue ice, our sign, and our water. Ooh, okay. Careful with that. You don't want to get your redstone wet and destroy it all. We're going to cap that off. We're going to drop our soul sand here. And fill these all up with source blocks. Ah, uh, that sound is irritating. And there we go. So, this should now take our items, or our sugar blocks in this case, shoot them up, drop them in, and put them through. Cool. So, right here is going to be ground level. And we will put our chests as such. Oop. So this right here is one unit of the entire machine. You can actually make these tileable, uh, meaning they can put the, you can, if you copy this exact design, you can just, you know, paste them directly next to each other and stuff will not interfere, which is pretty neat. But let's get on to part two, rest of the machine. We are going to start by simply placing two blocks over here and regular rails and then going out three, one, two, three, up one, and bring it back around. Then we're going to want to break this rail right here. Replace it with a regular one. Bring this all the way up. And get a detector rail. And place powered rails like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and fix all of that. And there we go. Then bring this out one. With a piece of redstone and a torch on top of that. A sticky piston. Block. And another block right here. Then you can go ahead and place your minecart chest, which will actually set the machine up. And now this should actually uh, move all the redstone blocks that were previously here over. So that's perfect right there. And then we are going to go ahead and take out a pulse from that. And put a another comparator going into there. With a compo composter, com composter, 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 composter. And fill it up exactly two. One, two. Perfect. I'm going to put another block right there with a torch coming out of that. And that should be our detection system right there. So now for a reference point, I'm actually going to go ahead and make the floor and the walls. Now this entire system is based on how I would prefer the machine to be built or the way I think it looks the nicest. Uh, you can always take this machine, or uh, separate parts of this, and just do whatever the fuck you want with it. But, because some people are, you know, not as good at that as others, or who just don't know what the fuck's going on, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I'd make it. So, right here, I have gone ahead and made it how I would probably make it. Uh, right here is our, our uh, leftmost storage unit. You go over two blocks. Uh, and then deep two blocks, and then you make this little setup right here. Uh, right here will be the shulker box uh, input, which is very important, and the indicator light up top. And right here, we have just a regular item input. Additionally, if you wanted to, you can actually throw in a shulker box uh, uh, breaker, or uh, how, how would I describe it? A shulker box emptier, uh, which I actually did make as well in another video, so you can go check that out. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, and that would be a pretty useful machine in this kind of setup. So now let's go ahead and link some more stuff up. I'm gonna go ahead and make two more of those little dropper units for both of these chests. So we'll start right there. We'll grab ourselves a dropper. And there, one there. Grab ourselves some blocks and do what we did last time. With a comparator like this. Block, block, and block, block, block. Cool. Redstone there. Repeater there. Redstone dust there. And get your target block out. And I will do the same on this side. Except instead of uh, turning this direction, I'm just going to make it turn this direction. Because we are a little low on space. So there we go. Perfect. So now both of these are set up. So let's get our water tube going. Which will deliver this stuff right here 
to our chests. Oh, yeah, and speaking of which, we actually do need a hopper. Right. Going into this. So I'm going to just bring that up. And there you go. And just to confirm, hopper's going in. Perfect. So now we're going to go ahead and actually make our water elevator with a nice piece of soul sand like this. And a nice shaft of glass going up all the way. Now this shouldn't inter these uh, this chest and hopper shouldn't interfere with the water flow, which is perfect for me. And we're gonna go up, make it the height of the hopper, bring the rest of it up as well, and then go out long and pipe this on over as such. Perfect. Pipe the rest of this off and fill her up with water. One quick test to make sure everything's working fine. Soul sand in. Soul sand up. Oh, okay, yep, that's why you cap your stuff. Soul sand in. Perfect. So, that's that done. And now, let's hook up this system right here. To indicate whether we are empty with shulker boxes. Or empty of shulker boxes. You, you get what I mean. So, I've currently set it um, to uh, be empty at two shulker boxes. So, after at two, uh, the machine shuts down and the light goes on. Indicating that... The machine has indeed run out of power. So we're going to have to replace that with a block. You have glass there so you don't cut off your chest. And there we go. So as you can see, it's empty. If we get some shulker boxes. So we put one in. As you can see, it doesn't turn off yet. And we put two in. Ooh, maybe one more. Oh, nope, that worked fine. So as you can see, at, at two, light turns off and machine is set to go. So I guess I'll just leave those in there for now. And we need to do one more thing uh, in a second. Or actually, we can do that right now. Grab a sticky piston, place it down right here, and put a redstone block right there. Uh, this basically makes it so that when this runs out of shulker boxes, it turns off the item dropper in. Uh, the um, Turns off the actual sorting system itself. So don't forget that, very important circuit. So we can go ahead and actually build the water column for this as well. Which I'm just going to send directly out. Make sure you put two blocks up like this and leave this block empty. So the redstone block can go up and down. There you go, so I brought this all the way up. So it's level once again with these hoppers right here. I'm going to add one more. Uh, probably two more. Yeah, just well, two more just to be safe. And another block right there to cap it off and now we just pipe this right on over make sure your glass is all uh, in the right position for this one or else you will destroy a hell of a ton of redstone and that would be very very painful would not recommend it oh yeah actually uh, I made one small mistake this pipe actually needs to go up one more because the items that transfer along and across have to actually be one above this right here so, very sorry about that. I'm glad I caught it before, though. That would have been very bad. So, no, that needs to stay. And there we go. So, that's how high you want to be. Just So, just add an extra height to your water tower. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ, please don't. Okay, that's not too bad. And there we go. Okay, now we're set. So let's go ahead and cap this off, like beforehand. And we are set to go. So let's quickly do one more thing, and that is setting up the system. So you're going to want to have yourself uh, some named items and the items you want to filter. Place a small row of filter items right here, and drop your items in. Then go ahead and place one shulker box just to set up the system. And fix the redstone that you oh so unfortunately broke. There we go. Due to water. So this should filter through and drop them all in. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So go ahead and do that with each system. And you're set. So demonstration time. So for convenience or for speed, I'm just going to fill this up quickly with an entire thing of diamonds. Or at least all, almost all the way. And so that will indicate the machine filling up. We're going to grab... 
no, these choker boxes are fine. Remember these choker boxes we inputted? So those will be our choker boxes. And we'll grab some dirt. We'll also grab some dirt as well. To prove that it's a junk item. And we'll grab a half a stack of diamonds. So what this should do is uh, put a stack of diamonds in here. Break it. Put it in here. Dirt should be filtered out and end up here. And then the other half a stack of diamonds should be put in a fresh new choker box. So let's go ahead and place everything in here. All of our diamonds. So the way this uh, system works, or why it's uh, so important, or at least I think it's uh, useful or important, um, is that it only holds one shulker box at a time instead of a bunch. So instead of wasting a bunch of space and having um, useless shulker boxes, it only gives it to where they're needed. And also, don't forget, place blocks right there. That's also important, apparently. We'll just put those back in there. Oh, and yeah, don't steal the diamonds out of the water fountain. But the show gonna go ahead. Breaks that. Request a choco box. Place a new one. And keeps filling it up. We'll just put these back in here. And as you can see, since it's now below two choco boxes, or is it at two choco boxes? I can't remember. It is below two choco boxes. It is now actually on. And the system is off. So as you can see, it's no longer filtering because that will break something. And so turn it back on. Or to keep it running, we'll throw another choker box in there. There you go. And system is back on. Perfect. That works the way I expected. So, by the end of this, we should have 32 diamonds. Uh, unfortunately, I can't really check without breaking it, so we'll give that a second. But, as you can see, come over here. Boom. Diamond shulker box. Completely full. And so, that's not shooting out dirt. Perfect. So, I'll let that finish off real quick. Because I ain't no scam. There you go. Dirt has been filtered all the way through. And if we break this shulker box right here. It should go all the way in. And 32 diamonds. Perfect. So the system works as expected. Which is good. I didn't build it wrong. As you can see, there are still zero shulker boxes being held in here. Uh, meaning zero shulker box waste. So if another sorting system needs it more, uh, it'll get them. So, if you uh, like the machine, a subscribe would be much appreciated. This, this bad boy took a while to design and make, and a lot of struggle and pain. And, uh, well, not actually going to finish the outro here. We're going to finish the outro with all the specs. So, thanks for watching, and future Matt, take it away, or past Matt, I don't know. Go for it. Hey, and welcome to the end of the video. As well as the part where I show you the dimensions and the materials you need to make this machine. So, I think we'll start with the materials. For each unit, you are going to need everything right here. Blue ice, chests, uh, blocks of any sort, some glass, like a block, dispenser, dropper, observer, sticky pistons, bunch of hoppers, uh, detector rail, powered rail, redstone dust, comparator, repeater, redstone torch, redstone block, piston, uh, not just one water, but just a bunch of water, Soul sand and a sign. Now, do note that this is for the entire unit as well. Uh, that which includes both the sorting system, which goes right here. I don't have it in right now. Uh, as well as this unit right here. And now the materials for the rest of the build, which includes all of this little section right here, along with the chest minecart area and the piping into the storage system, as well as into the choker box chest. You are going to need uh, these items. Blue ice, targets, water, rain, oak signs, soul sand, redstone, chests, block of redstone, and a uh, some more blocks, minecart chest, redstone torch, rails, redstone repeater, detector rail, sticky pistons, droppers, uh, compost composters, compost composters, 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 come. Composters, redstone comparator, uh, some stairs, four hoppers, a bunch of potatoes, and a redstone lamp. And you also need a frick ton of floor materials, wall materials, and glass. Sorry, didn't feel like counting. Just get like a few stacks and you'll be fine. Alright, let's get into the actual spacing of stuff. So, for the entire build with just one unit, you're going to need a 13 block by 10 block by 12 block area. Pretty massive, I will say, but most of this space, honestly, is for the piping and stuff. Which is pretty sad, so hopefully Minecraft adds piping in soon. And in case you want to build this in a base, ground height is two blocks off of the ground. So right here, 
is where I would recommend your ground being and the machine being there so it ends up level like this right here and last but not least the starting position uh, starting from the left side and the front you are going to go, want to go one two three four five six seven and one two three four five six in place this corner right here then this area right here is a three block by seven block area and the start of one of those units right there uh, if you want to continue building these outwards since they're tileable you can actually just you know keep going like this and keep extending out infinitely until you're happy with how many you want and where I start the actual build itself is on this block right here which is two blocks in and this is where the first dropper goes so I think that about clears it up Oop, yeah I think that does so thank you for watching uh, if you enjoyed this build Subscribe would be nice, and if you have any uh, tips or uh, recommendations to make it better, let me know. Alright, see you in the next one. Bye!